Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So today I am doing a requested video which is the an eyeshadow tutorial with the Sienna's palettes. Now my it's upside down and my ring light is glaring on it. I'm so sorry, but this is the Sienna's palette. But it is this one right here. You do get a whole bunch of warm shades, um, a lot of browns, a lot of burnt oranges. You do have this mustardy shade right here. You do get your shimmers, which I think this palette, it is gorgeous for a warm tone lover like me. I really, really enjoy this palette right here. And yeah i i really love it i have nothing much else to say you don't get that much kickback on this palette i did not have any fallout as y'all gonna see during the video but other than that yeah this is the eyeshadow look i came up with it's really simple i think me as a beginner you as a beginner can do this look really really easily and that's pretty much it guys um yeah so let's go ahead and go on with the tutorial to prime my eyes, I'll be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, shade 1. I really need to fix my lighting for close-ups, but this is it right here. So I did zoom y'all in quite, quite, quite close. Okay, so yeah. Y'all gonna go ahead and see my real in life imperfections shade six but i usually use shade one this concealer was supposed to be for concealing and highlighting and all that stuff girl this is too light for my face and it's sort of like c1 but with a yellow undertone so i just use it now for my eyes so i'm gonna be using the aoa brush in E104. I'm gonna just go ahead and blend that out and I'm not not going to set it so yeah. In my Sienna's palette the first shade I'm gonna go in is with, with Dynasty. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So it's this shade right here which my ring light it is oh this one right here, it is a orangey shade. And I've been loving this brush. It is a Morphe brush. And it is from the Ice Lay collection. And it's just a fluffy brush just like this. Taking that shade and since I did not set my eye, just go ahead and tap it just for any creases. Since I did not set my eye, I just want to go ahead and tap, 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 tap that shadow. So I'm going to just go ahead and kill, keep building that shade up. Don't worry about blending or anything like that. Just go ahead and tap it down. So once you have that shade down really good, we're going to go ahead and I like to start off with circular motion and then we're going to do windshield wiper motions. And like I said, just circular motions and now we're just going to have to try to blend it out. I'm just keep blending out and then we're going to go on to our next shade which is Daring. Which is this shade right here. It's just a burnt reddish orangey shade mostly all the shades are like burnt orangey yellowish cool tone browns it's just a beautiful beautiful palette so i'm gonna be taking this one on a morphe m441 brush tapping off the excess and i'm gonna take that onto the crease and i'm gonna just use windshield wiper motion And this is the first tutorial with my camera, so I'm still trying to get used to it, guys. So I'm so sorry. I just get nervous, but once I bypass my way of getting nervous, then everything just goes on smoothly. I'm just scared that I just have to record a whole video and then it's just not going to go well for me. Like the mic, I still don't get the hang of the mic. But we're going to get there one day. 
going back in with my morphe isolate brush collect from the isolate brush collection um uh, with and not i'm not gonna have any product on my brush whatever product was left on my brush how many times is i gonna say brush i'm just nervous <laughs> so i'm gonna just take that brush without any products and just go ahead and blend that out furthermore and just keep blending just keep blending 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 what is up dory <laughs> Now, I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush, and it just looks like this. And it's just a little tapered flat brush. Guys, I've just been loving this brush for the crease, like to go straight onto the crease, like nowhere else, blend it out right there. So I've been loving this brush so, so much. Now I know why people love this brush. That is the Morphe M4 for... 433 I'm gonna take dapper and dapper is the shade right here in the corner yeah dapper right here the excess and notice I do not have any fallout that is amazing you do get not even you don't even get that much kickback kickback with this um eyeshadows or is it just me that I'm not pressing my brush so hard in the product I don't know, but I'm not getting that much kickback. Um, not not even one bit of fallout. That is amazing. So I'm going to just take that brush and put it straight onto the crease. And then to clean off right now my um, brow bone, just before I forget, I'm going to take the lightest shade, which is Polite, which is just a creamy beigey white shade you do get exclusive if you want a little bit of shimmer you do get exclusive which is kind of like the same shade as polite but with a little bit of shimmer so we'll just pop that on to the to the brow bone before i forget and then go ahead and take outspoken which is this deep reddish shade so mostly all as y'all can notice we are taking kind of like the same shades but d deeper by deep deeper by deeper if i can explain but we're gonna take um outspoken into the crease for that i'll be taking my trusty m507 or you can use the m506 which i think the m506 is a little bit smaller if i'm not mistaken but i'm gonna be taking the m506 it is a tiny tiny fluffy pencil brush i really love this one to go straight onto the crease then the other shade so i'm gonna just take it right here so i'm gonna just take it straight right there I just need to stop tilting my head all the way to the front. I, I get like all into the mirror. So I'm used to going, you know, my head low. But no girl, tilt your head back. Okay. So I need to get used to that. <laughs> Without any product, I'm going to just go ahead and blend that shade. Keep blending, keep blending, keep blending to cut the crease i'll be taking my holy grail brush for cut crease this is the morphe m113 it's just a little flat brush I just love this brush it is a flat brush but at the same time it's really really tiny so i really love it for that taking my makeup revolution conceal and define concealer y'all need a shorter name this is a bad eye that i chose to do cut crease because this is the eye that i have a worse time doing cut creases because this one is more hooded than the other so yeah okay as y'all can see i did mess that up but i want to show y'all that not everything is perfect in this life so i'm gonna just leave it like that because then y'all gonna think that you know whatever so we're going to go ahead and back in with Dynasty, which was our transition shade. We're going to go ahead and take that onto the lid. I'm using the Alomar Cosmetics Flat Brush. I'm going to be taking that shade Dynasty. And just go ahead and pack it onto the lid. I did not set my concealer like always. I never set my concealer when it comes to cut creases. Okay, so going in with... 
a little trick that I noticed from other people. Once your cut crease, oh, once your cut crease doesn't come out that perfect, don't worry about it. You can fix it. Don't worry. Don't stress. We're all beginners here. We we all make mistakes. I bet the beauty gurus also make mistakes when it comes to cut creases. I mean, we're all humans. So I'm going to be taking Outspoken for my outer corner. Be using the M506. So be taking that one on my outer corner. And just go ahead and blend it in with Dynasty. And I really... I do have a smaller, smaller brush for cut creases um, to do this little trick right here that I learned, um, but I, I just left it on my vanity. So we're going to go ahead and, you know, work with what we have. On the tip of the brush, I'm going to be taking Outspoken again, really tap off the excess and just go ahead and bring it upwards and just go ahead and blend that shade out onto the edges that way you can't really see where you messed up on the little edges right here so that's what i learned from watching other youtubers just go ahead and blend out that shade going back in with my morphe m433 let me just go ahead and blend the top part out so for liner I'll be taking my Malibu Glitz liquid liner from you can find this one at AOA at Shop Miss A not AOA Shop Miss A and with lashes I'll be taking my AOA lashes in Luella and I left them on my table but I'll be right back be doing a full face so I'm gonna be using my NYX Angel Belt primer which I totally don't like it but a second try I believe in you know second tries a lot of people do love this and I just don't but I'm gonna just you know good on a second try you know I don't know. I just how many times am I gonna say that? I just don't know. Of course, I'll be using the Master Blur Stick by Maybelline. I did or the Natasha Denona. The Natasha Denona. What? <laughs> the Tatcha <laughs> um primer that everybody has been raving about. The fifty-two dollar one. I know it is hella crazy, but I had the chance to order it, so I did order. It's and it should be arriving on the 14th of this month of December. So let me know if you want to see a review on that. Um, I just hope it's worth my $52. That I forgot my sponge. I'll go get my sponge right now. But I'll be using the CoverGirl foundation in m10 i have not used this foundation since the last time i tried it out and it was horrible i did not like it but like i said i'm giving stuff right now a second try okay so wet sponge i did order also the beauty blender i'm so late on it but you know i ordered it just because just because so I hope it's also worth the $20. Using this foundation, like I said, in M10. I'm gonna just go ahead and apply it on. Now I remember why I hated this foundation. First off, the, you know, the shade is totally wrong. Second of all, it has like these little white balls that come when I blend it out, which is annoying. This is uh, this is the reason I don't do a full face on camera. But we're gonna keep on with the show. We'll go ahead and fix it up later, but let's just ignore the shade. 
which is totally off but the whole reason I'm using this for this tutorial it is because I was going through YouTube trying to find a foundation to order and a lot of people were loving this foundation for oily skin so I was like why not girl I don't know how people love this foundation concealer come save my life for concealer I'll be using my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in the shade medium girl I hope this concealer helps this thing out with this wrong shade. For powder, I'll be using my RCMA No Color Powder right here. And this powder looks hella amazing. I don't know if y'all can see it. I know I look pale as fuck. But... <laughs> I know we're just gonna keep on with it in person it doesn't look that bad guys but you know what to fix my face I'm gonna be going in with my freshly new AOA perfect setting powder in beige I'm gonna be using my real technique sponge and I'm gonna just be patting that down you already know I love this and I had told y'all before I love this powder this is my holy grail so for contouring bronzing whatever i'll be using my tarte park avenue princess for blush i'll be taking my smashbox blush trio be taking these two first shades really tap off the x because this blush it is super duper pigmented for highlighter obviously i'm using the jeffree star mirror so I'll be using my Jeffree Star um, highlighter, which is, this is the shade. I don't know how to pronounce the shade. Don't come after me because then, you the pendeja, I don't know how to pronounce names. But I'll be using my AOA F19 brush for highlighting. This, you already know, this is my holy grail. Come on. There we go. This is my holy grail brush for highlighting. For lipstick, you already know, y'all always ask me, um, I'm going to be taking the AOA Liquid Lipstick and Vibing. I always get this question, what lipstick are you wearing? It's obviously that every time y'all see me with this lipstick, it is AOA Liquid Lipstick and Vibing. Um, I'm going to be taking the NYC, NYC um, Black Pencil Liner. Okay. And then I do not have a pen, um, flat top brush, so I'll be going in with my M506. Forgot. And I will be taking Daring right here. Should have had a, had a flat top brush. But oh well. Be taking Daring, and I'm gonna just sweep it across. So coat the bottom lashes with mascara. Now let's get mascara on the tip of my um on my nose. So let's just ignore that for right now. Let it dry. We're gonna flick it off. So cleaning up my F506 brush. I know I need I need to get my brushes with me. So I will be taking exclusive, which I told y'all it is. It is the same thing as uh, polite, but exclusive has a sheen to it. So I'll be taking that as my inner corner highlight let's just ignore that with this shade right here it is so pretty guys just i just love this shade i'm gonna just keep packing it on it's just so beautiful it is gorgeous can y'all see that i don't know if y'all can see that but the shade it is gorgeous on my face i'll be using I'll be using the Morphe setting spray. So my SD card got full for the first time. <laughs> so like I was saying, I did apply the Morphe set. Why is it focusing down here? I'm over here, camera. My camera is just like focusing all over the place. I don't know what's wrong with it. Is there a ghost right here, camera? 
might be somebody beside my shoulder because it just keeps focusing over here anywho i did use my morphe setting mist and, um but other than that guys this is the final look i do love this palette and having this palette for a good while but somebody did request a tutorial with this one so here it is it's just a simple orangey burnt orange look which i am loving so yeah i do have the rest of the palettes i do have their new holiday collection also so let me know what other palette from perfusion do you want me to use next but other than that guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'll go ahead and see you on the next one bye guys